Welcome to this edition of Meet the Mustangs. Joining us today, WNMU men's tennis player, Emmanuel Monza. How are you? Good, good, are you? Doing well. Well, welcome to Silver City. Thank you. At Thank Western you. New Mexico. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you're a number one tennis player for Western New Mexico. You came here with a lot of fanfare from coach. Uh, tell us a little bit, how long have you been playing tennis? Um, uh, when I look into the books, uh, it's about like 12, 13 years. How did you get started playing tennis? Oh, uh, it's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. Um, I started playing like soccer, and um, like um, some few months later, we lost like a friend. He got knocked by a car. Okay. Yeah, back home in Ghana. So we kind of like lost the interest of playing soccer. So there was like a tennis court nearby. So we all started like going there to play tennis and stuff and. I mean, we have about like 15, 20 started, but only only a few, like me, stay behind. And up to now, it has become like my career right now. So you must really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's my life. <laughs> yeah. Well, Accra, Ghana is a long way from Silver City, New Mexico. Yeah. A little bit bigger than Silver City. Yeah. But tell us about your, your home city. Um, what would we want to see if I were to visit? Well, first of all, my country is a democracy uh, mm -hmm. country, a democratic country. Um, we've never had war before. It's very peaceful. Um, the weather is very warm. Yeah. Yeah, like 80, 90 most of the time. Um, right on the Atlantic coast, is it? Yeah, that? yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, we, we, we're next to Togo, uh, we're next to Nigeria. Um, I mean, people over there, they are friendly. Yeah, they are friendly, especially if you are if you are from America. Well, they will welcome you more than like yeah. So we want to visit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you've traveled all over with tennis. You've uh -huh. played a lot of junior tennis. You've yeah. played uh, Davis Cup. Is there any particular tournament or memory that stands out in your tennis career so far? Uh, <laughs> I don't know which one because I played a lot. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, how much Davis Cup have you played? Um, well, my first year was uh, 2006, okay. up to now. So I played about four, four, three, four times. Okay. Yeah, and um, I would say like 2007 was uh, the year um, we, we, we really played well for, for our country. Uh, that was in Cote d'Ivoire. Like we won all the four matches, like we won wow. the Davis Cup. It was like a round robin. Yeah. We won everything, we didn't lose a match. And I think it was like a great year for me and my country and my teammates and stuff. Now tennis is, is kind of like golf. There's a lot of individual play, especially outside the school year. Uh -huh. Do you change the way you play when you come at say for Davis Cup or for Western New Mexico? Do you change your mindset at all? Um, or do you well, just get out there and I play guess, like Yeah, it? I just do my thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite professional player? Uh, Roger Federer. Oh yeah. yeah, you have to pick someone that everybody knows. <laughs> you can't pick an obscure one. <laughs> what uh, what surface do you like to play best? I mean, there's clay, uh, there's there's lawn, there's hard court. I I grew up on hard court. Okay. Yeah. So I that's your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. And then singles versus doubles. Which one do you like more? Um, I I prefer both. I prefer both because you know as a um, as a tennis player, and uh, like singles and doubles is part of tennis. So you must learn singles and doubles because uh, in life you might be needed for the doubles. You, you can't only practice for your singles right. side. You have to practice for the doubles too because your team might need you around there. So I, I practice both. Well, you got uh, into the season already. Uh -huh. You guys had a tough start against the University of New Mexico, but you got a big win against Northern Arizona. You guys are five and one. How do you feel about the chances for Western New Mexico? Well, um, before I came here, I mean, um, I knew Yaya, I knew Coach Eric, and I was checking the, uh, their results and stuff, and I, I could say uh, with my help and my, uh, my teammates too, we can like achieve a better goal this year. Even though they did well last year, yeah. we could like improve on it. So getting to the NCAAs is not going to be enough. You guys want to win it all. Yeah, we 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 we're very hungry for that. We're very hungry for that. Well, folks, are going to be playing here in Silver City in April, I believe it is. But you'll be all over the Southwest, so make sure you get a chance to go see them. They are very good, very exciting, 
and you'll see them in the NCAA finals, I'm sure. Good luck and thanks for joining us on Beat the Thank Mustangs. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.